So at the at present, what I am doing is that we rescue the people who are on the street, and um, um, from I set up my first home in 1997 after a lot of struggle, a lot of difficulties. I set up our first home. We have 65 homes now, but first I started setting up homes for women, setting up homes for the homeless uh, children, setting up homes for homeless men. So I set up several homes. Then I started also working in the villages. In the villages, uh, what I was trying to do is that how um, I can reach out. And my long-term dream is how India will not have such institutions. What I want every child and women and men to have their own home and not institutionalized. But I know that it is a it's a very big uh, long-term dream. But towards that, what I am working is that towards that not to have home. But at the same time, um, whenever I see a homeless person, pick up that person, bring them to our home. Uh, it was a Catholic priest who was a very open-minded man. He was, um, though he was a um, Catholic priest, he was teaching Hinduism. He was teaching Bhagavad Gita. So um, after he was listening to me. Many a times, of course, I have been to him. Once he turned round and asked, uh, "Lucy, why do you wait for the convent to do something? Why don't you do something?" Then I looked at him. I was thinking whether he is okay in telling me because I am a nun with no money and no education, no experience. How will I do? But then he, he when I told him that, he turned round and said. If you have love in your heart, you can do it. Uh, many a times, whenever I was in trouble, even when the village people gave me trouble, thinking that I'm come for conversion, the first person I could think of is to talk to him. In spite of running all these homes and things like that, people, I think, more they are looking upon me for a spiritual guide. You know, they have spiritual needs. Uh, they know being in a home, they will get food and shelter automatically. Okay, but to me, they will always look upon for some kind of guidance. Uh, every morning and evening, we have simple meditation based on Buddha's uh, teaching, that is uh, paying attention to our breathing, things like that. Uh, our people have done also. Vipassana meditation, which is for 10 days, and uh, for our children we have anapana and many other small exercises for our children to get them used to meditation. And every home we teach them the interfaith aspect because uh, what I call it respecting all religion but worshiping the divine.